Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm Atikur Rahman. Today, uh, I will show you a new tutorial on how to give uh, S3 access to a different AWS account. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have multiple accounts, uh, multiple AWS accounts, and I will create uh, one bucket in account A and give access to that bucket to account B and they will upload uh, files um, over there. So let's uh, let's get started. First, I will create a new bucket. So I click bucket, create a bucket name. So AWS with Atik uh, 2021. Let's keep it uh, Asia Pacific uh, Singapore. We keep it as it is. Create bucket. Okay. So uh, this is our bucket. Then I'm going to create a bucket policy. So I go to permissions. I get uh, edit and then I go to policy generator. So policy generator is a tool. Using that, I will uh, create a policy for that bucket. So first I choose uh, S3. Then I choose a uh, principal, which will be the ARN of that uh, other AWS account. So I have the other AWS account ID, which is this. So I will create an ARN. So that's uh, then service is three. That's fine. Actions. Let's give all actions. Then resource. I'm going to copy the bucket ARN. Okay. Um, let's let's do it here. Oh, uh, ARN AWS S3. Let's try. And statement. And then I'm going to add a new one. All actions. This is the bucket ARN and forward slash star. That means all the objects. So this gives the bucket and this all gives access to all the objects inside that bucket. So let's generate the policy. Copy this. Close. So uh, paste it. Save changes. Oh, invalid principle. Okay. So just I did something mistakes. Okay. Um, I am a R N or root account. Uh, I think I did something mistake. Mm -hmm. Aha. So this is the policy. AWS uh, IAM. Good. So I need to add IAM here. IAM then double colon account ID and then root. Okay, that's the if that's the case, then I just need to delete this two. Okay, all actions. Let's copy bucket. Mm -hmm. 
generic policy. This is a JSON file. I copy the JSON file and I delete the old one, put the new JSON, click the save button and it worked fine. So that was my mistake. It are ARN, AWS, IAM and then account ID. Okay, that's clear. So I have given this bucket act a policy bucket policy that allows this account to access this bucket okay so that means any users uh, that means the, that account has access to this bucket but now i need to create a user onto that account that's a different account and i am going to create an iam uh, user over there which has iam policy to access this bucket okay so looks like confusing but let's move on to a different account i'm going to switching to a different account so that account has uh, i'm going to go to iam section sorry iam users i'm going to create a new user here let's call it s3 user programmatic access permissions i'm not going to attach any permissions let's tags review create user okay so i'm going to set up aws cli I already have installed AWS CLI in my PowerShell, so I'm going to config that. What I'm going to do is I will run this command AWS configure. So let's copy this. And this is the secret key. AP Southeast one, JSON, that's it. So let's close. It's three user. Now I'm going to add an inline policy. It should be JSON. Then in I'm going to use policy generator one more time. So let's go to policy generator. This time I will generate a policy for IAM policy. So uh, effect allow service s3 action all actions then i'm going to give the bucket name this is the bucket and statement i just uh, want to add one more time with star change policy copy everything delete the previous json and paste the new json what it says s3 allow this is the bucket s3 allow this is the bucket with objects let's try let's review the policy so uh, i need to give a name single bucket access you can give any name as you want it doesn't matter so now um now what i need to go to a directory then i will uh, okay so this is the file Then um, I will open the PowerShell here. Okay, let's try. Uh, let's go back to S3. And then uh, go back to that my previous account. This is the bucket actually, right? 
So I'm going to upload a file here. So what is the command? AWS uh, S3 CP local file name then S3 bucket name. This is the bucket name. Slash file name. Let's see. Upload fail, access denied. Why is this? Okay. So it says it doesn't have permissions. Okay. Let's see if it has permissions. AWS S3 LS uh, S3. Okay. It didn't give any error. That means it has permission to view the files. Let me upload a file manually. Let me upload this file manually. So upload this, close it. And I run this command again one more time. Okay, here it shows all the files, but it failed to upload file. So this is uh, he's from a different AWS account, this IAM user, but he can access to that bucket. Okay, let me check if I if he can download the file. So AWS S3 CP. Uh, S3 AWS with I think twenty twenty one slash hello dot txt two let's say uh, test dot txt okay I cannot download the file. I cannot upload the file, but I can only view it. Why? Let's check the bucket permissions. Is there anything wrong here? What we have defined is uh, so this is the root. If we give this to the root, then that means that we have given the uh, actually full permissions allow action s3 all resources aha so that was the mistake i did it again so i should have added a slash with star sorry my mistake um so uh, now let's try one more time and this is downloaded successfully. If I go to here, this is .txt. Now let's try to upload that file, which we tried previously with a different name. Hello to .txt. And that is also working fine. It's great. Now, what will happen is if I remove the IAM policy from that user, what will happen? I switch to the other account. I go to users, it's three users, single bucket policy. I just cancel it, remove it. So now let's see what happens. Let's try to do LS first. This will list all the objects and there's an error. So even though our bucket policy says that, um, let me reload it. So 
so I haven't changed the bucket policy. It stays same, but it's applied to the root user. So it's applied to the root user. Then we need to apply that policy to any of the IAM user as well. That means if I only add the bucket policy, it will not give access to other accounts. I need to add an IAM policy as well to the other account to a separate IAM user. So that being said, what we have shown here is we can create a bucket in account A and then access that bucket from account B. This is cross account permission. I hope that explains all. But if not, you can ask questions into comment section. I will try to reply as soon as possible. So thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.